Yo, what's up? We are now at Circle K, my regular starting point, and behind me here we have the uh, BMW i3 42 kilowatt stunden, and today we will do 1000 kilometer challenge. So, not much to explain. I've charged the car to, well, it was 100%, it's now 99%, close enough. And yeah, here you guys see the setup. I have OBD, and I have, uh, it's called Electrified. So we see that we start with eight, oh, 8 degrees Celsius in the pack, yeah, 99.2. Actually, capacity is 129 amp hour. So, all right, I will reset. I'm going to start at 10, so I better hurry. It's 8.55. What? Why are the... This clock is incorrect. 8.55. 8.56. Okay, uh, whatever. Close enough. So I already did reset the trip. I'm gonna reset the other stuff and then we go south. We are now on the run. We just uh, turned around at Schweinsun and we're now heading uh, back north. So that was the first part of the leg. And we are down to, wait, can you see that? We're down to 28%. <laughs> Holy shit, 28% consumption is. 220 right now we haven't gone that fast so we are going to stop at the Ionity Rigge that's the, that'll be the first charging stop 34 kilometers away uh, I calculate that we can make it so uh, yeah and the reason why the consumption was high was because we had this, a little bit of headwind and I guess this car is affected by the headwind so um, so far so good it's nice to be in a car with short range again <laughs> i'm looking forward to that half an hour no no i'm looking forward for that 40 minute charging stop we will have soon mm, 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 mm. drive one and a half hours charge for 40 minutes yeah that is the future of uh, electric mobility we are now at Rigge. This is our first starting stop after only 160 kilometers. <laughs> it was getting a little bit scary towards the end because I arrived with 7.5%. We started with 99%, but when I did the calculation, it's correct, we, we managed to pull out 38.2 um, uh, uh, kilowatt hours. So that makes sense, yes. Um, but I chose to charge here. You see, we have grid contact right here two of them 50 kilowatt we also have them over there why do i charge at ionity isn't it going to be expensive no look at these two cars these two cars own ionity and with the e-tron you get 1.85 nook per kilowatt hour at ionity with the i3 you get on you pay only 1.65 nook per kilowatt hour 1.65 over there, you have to pay about 3.7 or more nook per kilowatt hour. Over there, same thing, about 3.74 nook per kilowatt hour. So here, it's a bargain for i3 owners to charge at Ionity, even though it can't charge more than... Uh, um, it's a 350 kilowatt fast charger, but it's taking 45 kilowatt. <laughs> we, we came here... We came here 18 minutes ago. And even after 18 minutes, we're still at 41% only. Uh, so we have to charge for another 20 minutes, something. Yeah. But let me show you. I have a small problem because uh, it's, it was cold inside the car. Towards the end, the heater, I, I shut down the heater. And now I can't, I can't switch it on anymore. Because um, uh, if you go here, well, I, I, I know about this one. You can have shortcut. See, number three is board computer. Number two is uh, auxiliary heater. So, yeah, they call it auxiliary climate control, which doesn't make sense because it's an it's an EV. It doesn't have an auxiliary heater. It's just a main heater, but I cannot activate it. And when it, it's not grayed out, but when you try to activate it, nothing happens. And then, but if you go to here, you have to use this one. It's not touchscreen. You, you press menu. And then you see you have notifications. I'm like, oh, what is, what is that? The first notification is that quick charging is active. Well, does it even have to be a notification? It almost like, you see, it's like a warning triangle. Oh, Achtung! What is it? We are charging. Oh. But the next one here, auxiliary heating, cooling, deactivated. Because 
because we have low state of charge. Well, do we have low state of charge? No, we don't have low state of charge anymore because we have we have 44%. Why can't we activate the, the heater? I'm freezing here. Huh? It's, um, it's 7 degrees Celsius outside. So, well, Vorsprung durch no, wait, that, that's that car. Yeah, okay, uh, this one is the ultimate driving machine. Mm. Yeah, Beamer. We are now at Shell Grillan, juicing up once more. You see, this is the, the reality with this car, is that you have to charge about every hour, a little over an hour, and then you charge for half an hour. So actually, I don't want to stay here too long because, uh, you know, we, we, we care about cost today. So uh, over here, we pay a higher price than Ionity. So that's why I'm only charging here just enough to reach Ionity. Yeah, we're gonna ride on Ionity wave today. So, uh, nice location as usual, right by the highway. I chose this one because, um, because it's right by the highway. So we don't waste any time going detours. But let me see, let me show you. We have 28% right now. We, I calculated we need 40% to reach Ionity. So, um, uh, but look here, uh, let me see, if you go to menu, just to show you how old-fashioned the navigation is. Um, BMW lovers, they will always defend and say that, ah, oh, but this is better. We don't want touchscreen because touchscreen is dangerous. It's, it's better to use a button while you're driving. Okay, okay. If you want to navigate, okay. If I want to try to find something. No, 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 no. Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, you want to enter new destination. And if you try quick search, and then you try Ionity, let me see, I, your, uh, damn, I don't know the alphabet. Uh, Ioni, he found something. Oh, oh, look here, Ring down school again. Oh, this, this was, this was nice. Okay, this was nice because we just happened to search for Ionity, and there's not too many Ionities in Norway. Yeah, that, that one's okay, okay, okay. I give it props this time. Wait, no, 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 we're charging, dude. Don't worry, we're gonna make it there. 56 kilometers, all right, all right. So, 31, yeah. Let's wait a little bit. Uh, we're charging here for a little bit. I went to the restroom and then come back and I see this. We're only getting 40 kilowatts. What the heck is wrong here? Is the car rapid gating? It's 36 degrees. I mean, I know the heater is running, but the heater doesn't... Well, okay, let me see. Okay, let me just start. Let's try to turn off the heat, the auxiliary heater. There, there's a button for it. I deactivate the auxiliary heater. Okay, come on. Give me 125 amp. Give me, give me. No? What? Okay, well, I need 60% anyway. I don't know if there's something wrong with the charger. Highly unlikely. These chargers, they always deliver. Yeah, you see the, the, the Delta chargers. I've never seen any problems with them delivering slow speed. So, but this is weird that the, the, the car seems to rapid gate or something. Hmm. This is getting very annoying. We have a little bit of sun here, you see. And I'm trying to use cruise control. So I just press here. Act cruise control cannot be activated. Wait. Cruise control cannot be activated. Huh? <laughs> because, because this car has no radar. It uses the camera to detect or to <laughs> uses the camera to estimate distance. And since we have the sun in our face, then it cannot detect distance. So then cruise control. Uh, uh, adaptive cruise control fails so what you can do is you can hold down this button i i know this feature for a long time you hold down this button the distance button and now you have dumb cruise control 
I've been using dumb cruise control actually since the start today. And I didn't mention that we had this problem. I've been, yeah. So it's very annoying that 80% uh, uh, of the trip today, or at least more than half, half of the trip today had to be done with manual cruise control, not adaptive cruise control. Come on, BMW, you can do better than this. Let's hammer this woman. Okay, now we set cruise control. No, still cannot be activated. <laughs> Uh. This is the third charging stop. We are now at Ringdalskogen Sanctuary. Oh, yes. So nice weather today. Mm. It's always nice to drive around here when you, uh, yeah, we have nice weather. See, we have, this is the, the natural habitat of the e-trons. That's another e-tron. This is the e-tron. That's the EQC. And then we have me. Yes, with the i3. So, um, we are now charging at, well, I can show you more inside the car here. You see, this is so random because, oh, it doesn't work. Oh, I forgot. I thought I could activate uh, the auxiliary heater, but it doesn't work. But let me show you here. This thing here is called electrified. We are now getting 44 kilowatt. Mm, nice, battery is at 27 degrees. So I'm gonna pay attention to this, but I'm going to eat Ula. Ola Paka. I bought it two charging stops ago. Ooh, how about some dry eggs? Mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh yeah. After 43 minutes, we are at 90% almost. 35 kilowatt, time to leave. Yes, let's go. Okay. And let's check here. Yeah, battery temperature. <laughs> all right, okay. All good, all good. Let's go. We are now back at uh, Furuset, charging up. It's quite busy here today, compared to earlier this morning. You see, so many cars charging. Ha! This is great news for Circle K, because in order for them to make money, they need more people to charge at their chargers. They're actually not making money yet, but we're gonna charge here, uh, not for too long. Let me show you now. So, uh, uh, I'm trying to make this as cheap as possible, so we will only charge to 40%. How many percent do we have now? We have 36 already. We will charge only to 40%, and then we go for Ionity. It is now four, wait, what's the time now? It's only four in the afternoon. <laughs> four ten in the afternoon. And it's already starting to get dark, and we are heading out of Oslo. And we have done 500, almost 540 kilometers now. Oh man, but it feels great because from here, we will only have fast hammering stretches and almost no traffic. So yes, we still have another 460 kilometers to go before we are done. I'm finally home. This is my second home, which is Ionity Dal. <laughs> so anyway, not too busy over here. So I try one experiment now because you know, I, I kind of want to have that comfort and the heat in the car. And it seems like every time you arrive with less than 10%, then you cannot activate the auxiliary heater. And the problem with the i3 is that when you are fast charging like now, then when you fire up the car, the heater won't start. Just like some other cars, like the e-tron has the same, same same feature. It's not a bug, it's a feature. But most other EVs, when you plug it in and charge, like let's say Ionic or Kona or um, the ID3 even, then when you fire up the heater, it heats up the car. Not here, no. Then you have to activate auxiliary heater. 
And then you know the problem with auxiliary heater is that if it, if it bugs, then you cannot activate it anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is, I will wait until 10%, or oh, we're already at 10.2%. I will wait past 10% and then I try to activate it. So the problem now is that you might feel a little bit of heat here, but it's the leftover heat. And then after a few minutes, it will start blowing cold air because the heater element is off. Um, so, um, yeah, now let's try then. Okay, auxiliary, activate. Huh? Did we get bacon? Oh, wait. Aha! Okay, it works now. So let me explain what the problem is. Wait, where is it? The hotkey is here. You see, right now, the auxiliary heater is on, which is basically just a heater. But I think I found a bug here. It's a feature because if you go too low, like we've seen in the past, and you try to activate it, it will actually, initially, it will activate for a brief second and then it deactivates and you get the error message. Once the error message is there, then you cannot reactivate it. So what you have to know if you buy an i3 or you are planning to buy one is that if you are at low state of charge, don't try to activate the auxiliary heater. Wait until you are past 10%, then you activate it, then it works. <laughs> right, I haven't had proper food, which is kind of weird because every charging stop has been 40 minutes, 45 minutes. We are almost at 50% now and we still have 20 more minutes to eat. So I've been playing around with the whole heater problem, but now let's enjoy some food. This is taco salad. Over here at Circle K, many more and more Circle Ks, they get Mexican food. So, oh yeah. Mm, wait, I should have asked for salsa. Still okay. Mm, 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 mm. What? I was just eating. And then I suddenly see on the charger screen here that we are only getting 38 kilowatts at 60%. It's not supposed to trot that early. Huh? Look at this. Uh, temperature in the pack is 34 degrees. I think I saw that also at, at Shell Grellon. It was around, it was hovering around 35 degrees Celsius and it started throttling early. Look here, also outside here. Uh, this is something, I've never seen this before in the i3. It seems to, uh, it seems to rapid gate, but it has active cooling. We're supposed to get 48 kilowatt right now and 125 amp, not 104 amp. All right, yet another charging stop. I forgot to film while we were driving on this one, but nothing to see, it's just darkness. Right now we are at Ikea, uh, outside of Hama. It's uh, Ikea Ring, Ring Saker. Yeah, that's right. Uh, translated, it means Ring Saker means ring things. Ikea ring things. <laughs> so we're now charging at um, uh, Fortum over here. Nice one. We have one over there and we have two more over there. So, um, uh, what is it to say? <sighs> I can show you some stats so far. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Oh, actually, I did already show it on the screen. But, oh, some people suggested that I can crank up the heat to 28 degrees. But it's still cold here. The heater is off when, when we are charging. That's just the way it works. So, um, I, I have some theories about it, but okay. So now, I actually want to have some uh, buns, but um, I think we need to go back to, well, can we, can we have some buns? Oh, wait, um, no, okay, okay, let's, let's skip the buns, right? We're gonna go back to Ikea, uh, to um, Ionity and charge there because it's cheaper there. 76 kilometers, and I'm worked out that we have to charge at 60%. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we are on the move now. Just gonna show you guys the cool bridge here. Well, it's, it's at Harmai. Over here is Harmai. Here's the cool bridge. Woohoo! 
this light is always blue. The other bridge tends to change color. This one seems to be fixed color. But it's, it's time now. Where's the clock? There, there's the clock. It's seven, which means that we have been on the road for 10 hours. 10 hour mark. <laughs> well, it doesn't make sense to count now. 10 hour mark and we are at 700 kilometers, but we have 66%. So we should always check time or average speed once we are low, right before uh, every charging stop. That's what I've been doing for the whole trip. So, uh, all right. Now we just have to get back to Ionity. <laughs> uh, people say this is gonna be a long night. Man, we are now getting close to Espa and I just have this urge to get the buns. So, I think I will go for the buns. You see, we have 49%, which means that we will still be getting full speed or close to full speed once we get there. So I will not lose any charging time. I will just quickly go there and plug it in and then grab them buns. Oh yeah, I want Espa buns. I haven't had Espa buns in a long time. So we're still hammering it. Yeah, everything looking normal. So uh, yeah, we're almost there now. Okay, Espa almost no one here it's saturday evening so uh, uh let's hope the buns are fresh <sighs> here we go wow they have packet price 10 buns and two soda for 159 um i'm not sure how many buns i go for these are the famous buns Look. so i went for caramel buns they are my favorite. We have so many different uh, cinnamon buns with vanilla, we have raisins, we have uh, uh, anniversary bun. Lots of buns. They sell, they sell over a million buns here. And this is, it's very quiet today, but this place is usually packed with customers. <laughs> so my recommendation for you, go for this one. It's a bit sweet, but yeah, we're gonna eat it in the car. Okay, the bun is in the house and we are on the move again. So uh, we will now drive to uh, Ionity and eat it over there. 33 uh, kilometers from here. So yeah, okay, to be fair, we lost maybe two minutes there of overhead. But what we can do is we can always round down the time, you know, if it was, yeah, we round it, round it down. We can even subtract five minutes uh, because my urge for bun is strong. We are now back at Ionity. This is going to be the second to last charging stop. And finally, the bun. I haven't had this in a long time. Look at it. Oh, wait, oh hang on. oops, I forgot. Look here, look here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, so nice. The focus is doing some work here. It's not the most quiet autofocus. Mmm, good stuff and sticky. All right, 80%, 49 kilowatts. So we've been here 34 minutes. So this is right before, oops, oops, this is right before throttles. We can also see it here. Where's the more stats here? We're gonna leave exactly at 85%. And we need one more shorter charging stop. Maybe the next one is only 15 minutes. And then we head back to Oslo. Ah, oh, almost done now. What is the time? 8.39. <laughs> right, this is the second to last run. Consumption is seemed to be hovering around 250, which is as expected. Uh, we are actually not driving that fast. Only 120 on the speedo in the 120, 110 zone. Um, so yeah, it's night, it's four degrees Celsius. So that's why the consumption is slightly higher than in the daytime. So I think it's the best deal. Uh, if I go too fast, I will burn through the juice faster and I have to charge more often. So it's not beneficial for this car to go too fast. Oh, yeah. But no traffic here. Oh, 
and slightly dry road in the middle here, so that's good. This is it, the final charging stop. Again, back here at Ionity because it's the cheapest, the most convenient one. And now we only, I calculated, we only need to charge a 65%. So we need to stay here for about 15 more minutes. And then we calculate that, okay, I need to go a little bit north and then we go for Oslo. And then we will do the countdown right before we end up at uh, at Circle K again. But we have to hurry because it's going to rain soon. and. We have to try to get there within 14 hours because there are lots of cars that we don't want to be slower than if we go slower than 14 hours. So, oh, come on, come on, almost there now. Oh, this i3. Oh. This is it, the final run. 922 kilometers. We have to drive another 78 kilometers and it's 10.22. If we want to make it within 14 hours, we have to finish in 38 minutes. That's not going to work, is it? And it started raining now. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Now we have to go to Minnesun and then turn back and go to uh, uh, Furusat. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe I'll use low beam. Oh, okay, I forgot. We charged to 66% before we left. Right, we will do the countdown. 9991, 9993, 9993999 9994-9996 9996-9997 9998 <laughs> 1000 finally 1000 kilometer Woo! and the time is 2302 so 14 hours and 2 minutes wow look at the consumption 221 and 109 kilometers per hour is the average driving speed without charging. All right, we are almost at <laughs> at Circle K now. So let's get over to Circle K. Ooh, damn. All right, we are back at the starting point here at Circle K. Uh, so we did it in 14 hours, but remember that it was raining outside. So actually, if we would do this in summer, I estimated that it would take half an hour less time yeah we will do it in 13 and a half hours and we look look at the table we have actually lots of cars that are faster than this one so actually yeah this this car ends up in the in the bottom half unfortunately along with like leaf that rapid gates and ionic that cold gates and the zoe that doesn't charge that fast um, and this mg set set as evs same there it actually charges fast in the bottom but then uh, it Flat, I mean, it, it drops like a rock, the charging speed. So I feel like the i3 
it, it needs an update. It's it's kind of old-ish. It's the tech is from 2013, so it needs a little update. That's that's the problem with the i3. Uh, but okay. So anyway, and then I also look at one other thing, which is the cost of this. So um, I wrote down all the charging sessions. So you see that um, we actually had nine charging sessions today, <laughs> but it didn't have to be nine. I could have done it in maybe six or seven uh, charging sessions, but I tried to prioritize Ionity because I knew it was cheap. And I guess people who has uh, the, the Ionity card, you know, they will also try to charge at Ionity. Um, but um, yeah, okay. And also another thing is that most of these charging stops, they were right by the highway. I chose, the ones that were right by the highway. So you will lose very little time to exit and plug it in, just like Shell Grillon. Uh, yeah, Shell Grillon. Um, but okay, but you see the total, we charge um, about 75% at Ionity and then only 25% on the other ones. So even though the other ones were uh, kind of expensive-ish, not expensive, Ionity is dirt cheap for BMW, then it was too, uh, too uh, significant. So um, we actually charged for four hours and 35 minutes, uh, but the total charging cost was only 446 euros. Really impressive. Um, 41, uh, no wait, 446, nook, nook, sorry, for 41 euros. And last year when I did the trip with the fossil car, and uh, that was a Kia Seed, I actually managed to spend uh, 82 euros. It was just a coincidence. That was a real world test also with the skid. skid yeah. So it means that uh, this car can do 1000 kilometer in half the price of a, of a gasoline car, a fossil car. But keep in mind that this was in Norway here and we have really cheap fast charging uh, yeah, Ionity. So if we did this trip in <laughs> Sweden or Germany, Denmark, then most likely the i3 would be more or less as expensive as a gasoline car, but at least an EV will not be more expensive than fossil car. That is my point because you have seen articles about, uh, I think the one of the last one was uh, some FUD from some Swedish car tester. They drove the iPACE down Europe to Italy or something, from Sweden to Italy, I don't remember. And they charge the iPace only at Ionity, that without deals. Of course it will become expensive. And then these Swedish people, they just happen to find out that a Volvo would be cheaper than the iPace. Volvo, Swedish people, do you believe that shit? So, and this, this goes on and on and on about people trying to convince that diesel is way better, if diesel is cheaper, than gas, uh, than, than electric uh, or fossil is cheaper, but my claim is that it's not. It's it's neck on neck, yeah. But you just have to, you just have to, you know, charge smart. Don't charge to hundred percent. Try to get some deals like I do. I get some discount here, ten percent discount here, ten percent discount there. That helps. So yeah, um, but in the end, yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not gonna, it's just too long discussion. So I think that's gonna be it. You guys can take the discussion in the in the, in the the comment section instead. So yeah, but what, what do you think about the i3 then? Uh, it's a nice, comfortable car, even after driving it for 14 hours. I'm still nice and you see, I'm nice and awake, relaxed. I don't drink coffee. It's a nice, comfortable car to drive around with. So, okay, the seats are not the best, but uh, it's still nice driving comfort on it. So maybe it would be better if the auto steer was better. But other than that, it's okay car, except for of course some of the bugs with the heater. But yeah, that would be in a, in a different episode, I think. I will explain more about the heater thing and the bug and the software thing, but okay, okay. But I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.